it's FL Studio versus Studio One. Which one is better for you? Well, these are both epic DAWs that are doing a lot of things and doing them very well. FL Studio is, as I've mentioned before, very different in terms of workflow and user interface versus, let's say, an Ableton or Pro Tools. Instead of giving you everything all at once, it separates everything into windows, which is actually why I love FL. You can pretty much design your setup to be whatever you want, which very much seems to be FL Studio's thing. It focuses heavily on freedom and creating your own sounds. Studio One has the more classic layout. However, it sort of has the freedom of FL. For instance, Studio One's playlist is so unique in the way it functions. You're not constantly changing mouse tools. If you want to easily copy certain bits of the sample or the fact that you can manipulate the track from clicking on maybe the top or bottom of a specific sample, you can adjust certain things. I find that really intuitive. The way you do your automation is very similar to FL as well. What I love about Studio One is how you can pretty much just drag and drop nearly everything. It makes everything seem so simple and fast. FL Studio is awesome when it comes to sound design, as I mentioned earlier. You get the best tools from the get-go. Great synthesizers like Harmer and Flex, but the real one I'm talking about is obviously Patcher. I can combine multiple plugins to create a completely new plugin with my own knobs and controls. FL Studio also comes with Grow Speed for all the drill and alt r and sounds you can concoct. FL Studio also now offers the ability to master your track, and I mean, this just really shows how ImageLine cares about the consumer. You have access to stem separation as well, which also came with FL Studio 21. FL Studio also offers lifetime free updates, pay once for whatever version, and all the updates for it are all free. Studio One Pro comes with Melodyne Essentials, which to me is a huge deal as Melodyne is easily the best pitch correction software and it's not cheap either. So this is a big win for Studio One. Not to mention the fact that on top of actually coming with Melodyne, you also have Melodyne integration. Studio One also has a mastering suite. The extended effects chain lets you split the signal from your sounds and apply different effects to the different splits. The chord track is like, it's like a built-in scalar too, but way more integrated and I think it's amazing. Studio One supports spatial audio for Apple Music, which FL Studio does not. Comping is just so much better in Studio One. Sometimes in FL Studio, I, I just don't want to do a takeover because it feels so tedious. Now, when it comes to pricing, Studio One has so many options. First, I want to talk about Artist. It's the fruity edition all over again. Why? Because it has no VST support. Why, Presonus? Why would you... Why would you do this? This is a stripped down version, we'll call it, and it'll cost you $100. Then we have this Pro and Plus stuff happening as well. You can get Studio One Pro, which is, as they say, the complete Studio One experience at $400. We then have a monthly subscription, which is called monthly, and that'll cost you $20 a month, which will give you access to Studio One Pro and all the benefits of the Plus version. Then you have Hybrid at $180 a year, and that will give you access to Studio One Pro and Plus. 
with the perpetual license to Studio One Pro being yours to keep. FL Studio offers the Fruity Edition, which doesn't allow you to record audio, so I don't know who this is for, but it's $99 if you want it. Producer Edition is $200 and is the definite entry-level experience with all features but not all plugins. You have the Signature Edition with a few more plugins at $300 and lastly, the All Plugins Edition at $500. I'm a big fan of both of these DAWs. I do lean more towards the image line side of things, probably because I've been using FL Studio and I've only briefly tried the trial version of Studio One for this video. When it comes to FL Studio, I just get the feeling of them listening to what the users want and adding it to the program. They are very consumer friendly on the pricing and just like Studio One, they have a great DAW. Let me know which DAW you prefer in the comment section and let's help those who are indecisive on which DAW to choose. Thanks so much for watching and remember to hit like and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It's been awesome making videos with you guys and just hearing what you have to say. Again, thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.